going to begin here a little north with Union County. So if Union County would like to go ahead and start making your way over here. The Union County High School High Tech Program is coordinated by Career Source Florida Crown Workforce Board, which also serves students in high school high tech in Dixie, Columbia, and Gilchrist counties. The Union County team attends Lake Butler High School, and their pitch is going to be for their new company, A Plus Homework, and their high school high school coordinator, Elizabeth Weatherington. She is uh, joining us, is one of their biggest fans. So, Union County, the stage is yours. Got a microphone right there, a microphone here, and good luck. And the bass keeps running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Elizabeth Garcia. I'm in 10th grade at Union County High School. Hello, my name is Casey Parks, and I'm in 12th grade at Union County High School. Hi, my name is Beth Crawford. I'm in 10th grade in the Union County High School. My group and I created a program called A Plus Homework. We wanted to create a program to help out our peers. We are profoundly accomplished high school students wanting to assist others. So we decided to put a twist on tutoring. Kids tutoring kids. There are four main components that make up our business model. One, what are we? Two, what do we do? Who's our climate client demographic? And four, frequently asked questions. What are we? We're an after school tutoring service that aims to uh, improving the academic performance of students through personalized sessions not commonly found in the conventional schooling. We are stationed at Lake Butler, Florida, and we provide our services locally through library schools and online virtual programs. We are highly achieving high school students willing to help others. We believe kids can understand other kids versus teachers sometimes. In my personal experience, other students have helped me understand when a teacher couldn't. What do we do? We tutor students between the grades of kindergarten to high school. We provide the subjects of English, math, social studies, science, reading, and other electives is if acceptable. Our tutors specifically, our tutors specifically match with the students' needs to provide more specialized assistance. Our goal is not only to help with homework, but to work towards a deeper understanding. Who is our client demographic? We, our clients are in between the grades of kindergarten to high school. We only accept clients locally. People who would need the service who are behind school, struggling and cramming for a test. Frequently asked questions. What is your payment system plan? We charge $14.99 per hour. We require payment at the end of the session currently, but we're working towards take, taking payment at the beginning. Auto tutors paid employees. Each tutor is different. S meanwhile, some wants payment for their work. their work, and others want ask for community service hours instead. We have five tutors and five assistant tutors. We provide our services Monday and Friday, five, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday to 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. How do you gauge the success of your clients? We ask students for progress in their grades, and if um, available, we'll get in contact with the teacher. You can book a session online at our website, a-plushomework.website.2.me. Sessions can be on Zoom, phone call, or desired location. Children will have, I mean, parents will have the decision of who teaches their child. Thank you for taking us on time to listen to our presentation. You can ask any questions you may. Fantastic. So we're going to begin questions with the judges up front. Angela, we'll begin. Oh. 
Do you have a commercial to play? Yeah. Here we go. So let's watch the commercial. How am I ever going to get this test done so far? Just visit aplushomework.com. Hey there, we are A Plus Homework, where we are kids teaching kids tutoring program. It is going to cost you $15 an hour after your free trial. If you would like to continue, please contact us at 904-452-1261 or visit our website at A Plus Homework. Yeah, I can finally do this math. If you're stuck doing homework, you need some help from your A Plus Homework. Where were y'all when I was in school? Like I could, I could, especially the mat, the quadratic formula and all that. Yeah. Um, judge questions, Angela. Can we begin with you? So, good morning, ladies. Good morning. Great job. I wanted to ask a question around the cost that you mentioned for your services. Yes, ma'am. I believe you stated that your services will be fourteen ninety nine. Now, remind me, was that per hour? Per hour. Okay. And is there a maximum number of hours that a student can? utilize the service? Um, in a day, we don't want to work our tutor all day long, but they have as long as they need to have the tutoring service, they could go from kindergarten to high school using our service. Awesome. And how did you come about that $14.99 cost? We didn't want to go too expensive, but we also didn't want to go too cheap. So the, we just, I don't know. Do you guys we just know? found the middle. We, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning and great job, team. Thank you. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you about the personalized nature of the services that you're providing and, and how you go about ensuring that you're, you're really doing that personalized touch for each individual student that you work with. We um, will take, sorry, the students, we will like, some students work better with visual, some students work better with touch, so we'll work with them in all of those and find out which better they understand by and whatever one they do, that's the one we'll personalize them with. Great answer, thank you. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Great job. I, I echo what the other judges have said already. Um, my question centers around the tutors and their payments as well. Would that money go directly to them, to their account? I saw that the accounts you had, PayPal and Venmo, and would, would it go directly to the tutors, or is there a, like a payroll? We do half of what they make. We'll split it down the middle, and then we'll take half to put towards our, our uh, company to have materials like certain books, pencils, and but the rest goes to them. Okay, and then just one more question. How many locations um, do you expect to open? Um, I, we don't have a certain amount yet, but right now we were thinking maybe three. Okay. Good job once again, thank you ladies. Welcome. Okay, ladies, first, great job. Take a deep breath. You're through the hard part. Now comes the fun part, the questions and the feedback. So I, I got a couple of questions, if you don't mind. One, how'd you come up with this idea? We were wanting to create a program to help out around our school. So we decided to take tutoring and just like teachers, we believe that like teachers make it stressful in a way for us to <laughs> they're like you got to do it our way but students they understand how you want them to so we were like why don't we have other students tutoring other students who are excelling in that certain subject so i have a 15 year old daughter who says the same thing every night so <laughs> i get it all right so so and you wanted to do this to kind of help make things yes. better and, and you said something in your presentation that I found very interesting, because uh, I love the idea and the concept. And I'm trying to understand how much of it is a business, how much of it is a club, how much of it is community service. And you mentioned community service hours. Mm. How many of the students that are tutoring need to do the tutoring need community service hours? What percentage would you think? I would say, Rob, I mean, personally me, I would take the money over the community service. <laughs> so, That's it'd be like... Yeah. 
probably like 25% because we do take community service towards scholarships. Um, so you have to have a certain amount to apply for a scholarship. So I would say about 25%. About you. I would say that it depends on them if they want the community shared service hours to go through the community shared service hours and get it for colleges and scholarships and all, then they can do it. I would say about maybe 25% too. It just depends on them and what they're going through if they want to go to college or not. It really depends on if they're really wanting to do community service. Some of them pre prefer community ser service, some of them don't. Right. So, so I, I love the fact that you're an entrepreneur and you want the money and you want to <laughs> get paid. We all, we all do. So what I, one of my piece of advice for that 25%, because it could grow a lot more, is to find some community organizations, like maybe the local movie theater, could donate tickets to go see the movies, same, same thing. Uh, if you do you know, four hours a week or something like that, that there's some sort of incentive in yeah. addition to the volunteering to reward your volunteers. Okay, that sounds, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, great feedback. Leanne is gonna be roaming around. We've got time for some audience questions as well. So if you've got some questions, we can pitch these young entrepreneurs. I'll start here. I'm curious. This is such a great idea. Have y'all worked with teachers or administrators to think if it works at this school or this school, maybe we grow down the road? Are y'all thinking about expansion in any way? I think that would be a good idea because this program, like I said, helps the students feel more comfortable in under learning from somebody their own, around their own age who understands where they were at one point. So I think it would be a good idea to expand to other schools. And students has different, all students have different mindsets than teachers do. And some teachers don't understand the student's mindset. Like some students will understand other students' mindsets because they're going through the same thing. But if the, the students are teaching the other students that's good at helping them, then they, the students should teach the students instead of teachers. Perfect. Do we have any questions in the audience? We've got one right over here. Leanne is going to make your way over there. And while Leanne does that, is there a minimum requirement for students to be tutors, a certain GPA or certain classes? Or is it where sometimes the student becomes the tutor and vice versa? Uh -uh. So right now, currently, we're just, we want the, um, they have to have at least an A to tutor. And eventually, if we believe that the student who is being tutored wants to become a tutor after they have learned the subject well enough, they can. Perfect. Leanne. Um, really enjoyed your presentation this morning. Um, just a question. So you probably have seen a lot of success with the students you've helped. Have you been able to leverage the testimonials from the students that you've been mentoring? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Have you been able to leverage their stories about the success that they've seen by using your, your services? Um. Basically, helping them tell that story to others so that you can get more to sign up. Uh, yes, we, we do like students to, uh, who have been tutored to tell other people about the program if they're struggling so that they can, we can bring in more business. And it's not even just about the business. We're wanting to help others have a better chance at passing and having a better like career eventually. Perfect. Uh, Leanne, I think, sees a few hands up back here. Hi, good morning. Hi. Great job. Uh, I've really enjoyed your presentation and definitely wish this would have been there when I was in school. Mm -hmm. um, question, do y'all participate in tutoring in the program? Um, I would because I do struggle in math, so I would need other people helping me, but I have other subjects like history that I can help other students. So you can be a tutor while also getting tutored. 
awesome. And um, to add to that, how do you solicit folks to be a tutor? Do you go tap on their shoulder, or do you just put it out in the school to say, this is available, we want you to come support? We're basically putting out, like, we're looking to hire people. If you're interested in community service or getting some money or even just helping out your community. Fantastic. We have a question up front. Hi. Hi. Great job, you guys. Um, this is pertaining to the gentleman that just kind of asked about testimonial. Have you all gotten any feedback from the student that you've tutored and everything? I was just telling um, Chip here that my son last year, he's 11th grade, la yeah, last year, he was 16, and his best friend's dad saw that my son, you know, has a, a, a gift, he's great with people, and he's, you know, a, he's an A student, and he uh, asked my son to tutor his son, mm -hmm. and he brought, my son assisted his son in bringing him up two grade point averages. So, you know, this really, I think it's wonderful. I, this is a great program that should be across the, the, the nation, really, because as you said, peer-to-peer -peer teachings is the absolute best, and I, great job, and Thank you. just a little other thing, I, I think you should maybe even go a little higher on your hourly rate. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Fantastic. We do have time for one more question, and we have one more question here in the back. Well, mine's not a question. Mine is just a congratulations. You all are three budding educators. You see the weakness in the system and how kids can learn from other kids. It's huge. So here's a shameless plug. I'm in Orlando. We would love to have you as teachers if you want to join us. <laughs> Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Union County students. Great job. Great job. Very great job. Great job.